Hey, what's up? Finally came out of the closet. You know that's a pine wood derby, not a demolition derby. What? Yeah, you read it wrong. Now what am I gonna do? I got half of that car printed. Too bad, so sad. Guess I'll have to design something in Fusion 360. Well, maybe you can use some of that wood filament you got from Tesla. You've been waiting for a good project to use it on. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned. Welcome inside the mine of Matt. That's right. I printed the wrong car for the wrong race at the wrong event and I was just wrong. I put demolition in with Derby just by nature from my upbringing I guess. But anywho, so I've designed my model up in Fusion 360 for my Pinewood 3D printed car. I do need a couple of measurements, so I'm going to take a trip down to the store tomorrow and get a couple of things. In the meantime, I'm going to break out this wood filament and do a couple of test prints on it and see what I got to do before I go printing something big. So let's check out this Tesla wood filament. But this is wood PLA. It was sent to me by Tesla to, to print and test out and report my findings. So, what better to print a pine wood 3D printed derby car than with some wood filament. So, I'm going to load it up on Mo, which is a newly upgraded to a sensor for auto bed leveling. And it's printing really good. So. I'll tell you what my settings are and we'll print us up a model. The next day. I have a bunch, but none of them have tires. I'm at my fourth store and I finally found what I needed so I'm gonna head back to the house and finish uh, designing up this model Infusion 360 and we'll get something printed here so 
taxi back to the house. Several song-filled hours later. Okay, here we are in Fusion 360 and I'm just going to edit my sketch a little bit but I will show you what I did a little bit here just to kind of give you an idea. So the first step was to make basically the block of wood. So I created a sketch of a rectangular with the proper shape and I extruded it. And then next I drew the wheels holes in it and this is where I've got to make my edit so I'm going to go ahead and do it right now and we're going to call those 2.2 one of the things I didn't do is this guy Okay, now that those holes are set, we'll proceed with, then I went and I extruded those holes all the way through. And next I started a shape of the car with a sketch on the side of the block. And as you see there, a couple splines and lines. And next I extruded that, removing the top portion of the body. And of course, then I just went through and I added a flat to the top part and then one to the back part. And I also took out a portion of the bottom, which I might have to increase the size of this depending on the weight. But it is going to be one of the things that I'm going to have to play with as far as the percentage of infill in order to get my weight proper. And then I created an offset plane. right there and that's when I started to do a little customizing put my name on it did a little bit of extruding and made it to the size that I was looking for and add a little flat for some aerodynamics but that's my car so I'm going to send this off to the slicer and we'll get this printed up on Mo with some more of that Tesla wood colored PLA. <laughs>
this finished up. Took five hours and 27 minutes. And all I gotta do is get it off the build plate. First thing I'm gonna have to do after that is I'm gonna have to weigh it. So, weight is gonna be key, so I might have to print this. But, again, that is. But we'll see once I get it on the scale. Cool, cool. All right, let's go weigh it and see what it weighs. All right, so got my new uh, kitchen scale set for ounces. Now, the rules are that it has to be less than five ounces, five ounces or less. So with the, the axles and the tires, I'm at half an ounce. So this can weigh 4.5 ounces. And I'm at 2.25. So I can either add some weight in this little spot that I've got, or I could print it with a little thicker infill. So Anyways, I've got a little bit of work to do on this car before it's ready for Earth, but at least now I've got the proper car to compete at the 3D printed Derby race at Earth in a couple weeks. So if you're going to be there, I hope to see you there. If you're not, then stay tuned and make sure that you subscribe because I'll be having some videos from the event and they'll be up on my channel, so make sure your notification is set. So you know when those videos are coming out. Super huge thanks to all my Patreon supporters and all those who have bought me a cup of coffee. And uh, much love and gratitude and thanks going out to Tesla for sending me all this filament to test and to review. Also, I got a bunch of links down in the description where you can get some Tesla filament with a little bit of discount as well as any other shopping then you can support me on my channel if you'd like if you like this video make sure you give it a like once again don't forget to subscribe and keep on coming back because there's going to be more inside the mind of matt happy printing and be safe pouring